cure of type 1 diabetes is it really possible now many people ask me whether my child with type 1 diabetes will get rid of insulin forever or not and being an endocrinologist being a clinician i would like to highlight few points and i would like to make you understand the basic pathophysiology or the reason why type 1 diabetes happens so we know that type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease right so the insulin which is the main substance responsible for lowering our blood sugars and we know that this insulin is produced from the gland called pancreas now this pancreas is a big gland it is situated in this stomach uh, below behind the stomach well in the abdomen and this pancreas has got many cells and the out of these cells the beta islet cells are responsible for the production of the insulin now what does this beta cells do actually whenever we eat something the sugars from the food goes to the blood which is sensed by this beta cells and this beta cells release insulin in proportion to the sugar or the carbohydrate which we have ingested and this insulin quickly goes into the blood stream and it sends the glucose to the organs in need like muscles like brain like whatever and it maintains the glucose in the blood to a certain level now what happens in the type 1 diabetes that our body produces some chemicals which are called auto antibody which are directed against the beta cells and if i give the example it is the same kind of thing which happens during the misfiring in the war so due to misfire our own soldiers get shot the same thing happens in the body so it's a random phenomena there is no relation to the increase in the carbohydrate consumption which has led to type 1 diabetes and this is very important to understand so this auto antibodies goes to the pancreas via blood and it they damages the beta cells thereby decreasing the insulin production and when the beta cell destruction reaches up to 60 65% we don't have any increase in our blood sugars after that the rest of the beta cells are not able to cope up with the increased glucose load which is there in the blood so gradually glucose level in the blood starts to increase and this is excreted by the kidney leading to the increased urination which is called polyuria thereby increasing thirst and this glucose taking up many molecules of water along with there thereby <clears throat> there is a weight loss in the initial phases of type 1 diabetes so there will be polyuria increased urination polydipsia increased thirst and polyphagia that is increase in the appetite and this all happens after the beta cell destruction reaches approximately up to the 60 65% so when we have diagnosis in our hand the beta cell destruction has already reached up to the level from which there is no rejuvenation of the died beta cells this beta cells are not able to regenerate by itself so this is an important point whenever your child is diagnosed with type 1 diabetes by the doctor his or her beta cells has been adequately destroyed by the own auto antibody that this now type 1 diabetes is permanent moreover after diagnosis this auto auto antibody will not stop and there is no medication to stop that auto antibody or to kill that auto antibody so rest 30 35% beta cell destruction will be ongoing and after few months or a year the whole beta cells will be destroyed by the auto antibody and this is the reason why insulin is must in type 1 diabetes now what happens that this insulin removes the glucose from the blood as i explained earlier and in the absence of the insulin there will be more glucose in the blood which is causing the problem so i think now you should be clear that at the time of the diagnosis of type 1 diabetes already significant amount of beta cells has been destroyed now another question is that if we detect this the presence of this antibody early even before the symptoms then can we stop that destruction the answer is no till now there are many 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 studies ongoing many experiments ongoing but till date there is no successful any treatment which can help to prevent the destruction of this beta cells 
so till date insulin is the only treatment of type 1 diabetes of course there are many medications which are in the pipeline which will or which might need the insulin requirement but till date insulin is the treatment of type 1 diabetes so this beta cells cannot regenerate as i said earlier there are many trials going on and till the trials become successful the insulin is the only treatment of type 1 diabetes so nowadays don't go to any quacks which claim that or who claim that we have cure of type 1 diabetes so type 1 diabetes is all about giving insulin proper glucose monitoring have a healthy lifestyle good amount of exercise and frequent complication screening thank you very much